Hi guys, today I am going to be doing a video review of the Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM for the LG Optimus One. That's right, that's Jelly Bean Android version 4.1.1. And the process of installing this ROM is the same as installing the Ice Cream Sandwich ROMs, except for you have to replace the Ice Cream Sandwich or Cyanogen Mod 9 file with the Cyanogen Mod 10 file, and instead of installing the G apps of Ice Cream Sandwich. After installing the ROM, you need to install the Jelly Bean G apps. So this is the G app setup screen. So we'll just start English United Kingdom. Start. I'm not gonna sign in right now. I'll just sign in through Wi-Fi. And this is not now. As you can see, instead of having these next and back icons, now you the setup screen kind of has these arrows so it's asking me for my first and last name so I'll just enter that now that we're done with all this we can get to using the phone google services again finish Again, you have the same ice cream sandwich kind of make yourself at home screen. So you can press that. And then you can hold this, drag it to the home screen. Just gonna remove it from the home screen. So, as you guys can see, the dock is basically the same. There's a new music launcher here, it's called Apollo. So you can click that. You get all your music here. And you can go to albums, songs, like that. Same way you can go into wi widgets as we have an ice cream sandwich, the same side scrolling. The new thing about Jelly Bean is that they've integrated something called Project Butter that makes the interface really smooth. Now, it's not really going to show on this ROM because it's it's a new build, it's still a very early build of the ROM, but hopefully after a while, the ROMs will become really smooth and Project Butter will be properly integrated in them. And something new is also this new kind of status bar drop down. So you can see now if you get an SMS, you can call the person directly and swiping. There's no cross icon to remove all notifications you'll have to swipe them individually like this also here there's an icon for you to go to the settings straight away and even the toggles have kind of changed they're more square now and I'll just show you that this is actually in fact ice cream sandwich so yeah as you can see Android version 4.1.1 and here we have the jelly bean Going back into settings, we have performance, so I'm just going to set my minimum and maximum frequency for my processor, otherwise my phone might be too slow. So minimum I like to set to 480 megahertz and maximum to 768 and set on boot. Now we're going back and I'll just show you some of the customization that we can do in this new ROM so you can go into background, default wallpaper and weather for lock screen and display weather update every 60 minutes, show location we can also choose slider shortcuts so you can have an application here for example maybe I can put messaging you can also change the icon by going here system icons and we find messaging icon somewhere here there you go okay now change this one to phone I'll just go to the lock screen after I'm done with this to show you changes in the lock screen phone change the icons 
change the icon of phone the system icons um, there we go okay and you need to save the changes from down here so now changes have been saved also in settings I'll just enable my Wi-Fi connection settings Wi-Fi on and I'll just disable my mobile network data enabled going into Wi-Fi just connect to my Wi-Fi network and I'm connected now so now I can just log in with my Google account into Google Play Store etc there we have Play Store So all this should basically be the same as ice cream sandwich. Uh, the new features are basically the drop down here and project button and also the lock screen. Lock screen I was going to show you. So this doesn't have, we just tap to refresh. refresh. So I'm not getting any weather right now for some strange reason. So we this new kind of lock screen that we have now. So you can go into Google now, which is a new thing of Jelly Bean. But unfortunately, it's broken in this ROM because there isn't enough space in the partition of this phone to integrate it. So maybe in later builds of this ROM, we might get Google now. But for currently, we don't have it. And I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi. As you can see, it says it's connected, but I don't think that my internet connection is working at the moment so I'll just have to go fix that so everything else is basically the same network etc works you saw I got a few SMS's network uh, Wi-Fi does work on this it's just that my Wi-Fi isn't working at the moment and I can fix that it won't take too long as far as anything else goes browser etc is still the same they haven't yet made Chrome the default browser or at least it's not the default browser on this ROM for Jelly Bean so maybe we can hope for Google now or voice search and later builds of this ROM but currently there still isn't any Google now so we we'll just have to work with this ROM I don't I don't advise you to update to this ROM right now since there's nothing really new and it's still kind of unstable as compared to the ice cream sandwich ROMs so if you're happy with your ice cream sandwich ROM and you're getting network and everything then you should stick to that until this ROM has been further improved for example Google Now and Google Cards and Project Butter etc starts working on this then it'll be a worthwhile upgrade right now it's just there's just hardly any theme tweaks that have happened so it's not much of an upgrade choosing the wallpaper has also kind of changed so you can go into live wallpapers, gallery, or just normal wallpaper. Just show you guys all the wallpapers that come with this. So this is basically all that comes. Bubbles, hollow spiral, nexus, spectrum, and water. You also have gallery and default wallpapers. So anyways, thanks guys. I'll put, put up a better review of this ROM if a better build comes up if there's a more stable version then I'll do a more in-depth review this is just kind of an overview and just to show you that you can install Jelly Bean on your Optimus One devices so and you will be getting more stable builds of Jelly Bean for your device sooner or later so there is still hope for Optimus One users so don't give up on your phone just yet thank you guys very much